All right, guys, we've landed. We've landed in Boston, Logan, Logan Airport, and now we're headed to our rental car, and then we're headed to Maine to get some stripers, to get some Maine lobsters, some rockfish, some little mackerels, and we're gonna do it up. I'm here with my partners in crime. Tune in. No, don't do that, guys. What are you guys doing? No! Can't take you guys anywhere. Walmart. Time to get a two-piece rod. Hopefully I can get some big sturgeons and some stripers with the two-piece rod. All right, so we made it to the most famous bait and tackle store in Maine. The Saco Bay Tackle Company. Oh, we are. We're going to buy some frozen macros. Look, yes. All right, great. Look, we got to get green worms. So they have striper bait rig. We don't need the rig. Look, that's just a regular fisherman's rig. We know how to do that. A fish finder's rig. We need to get green worms. We need to get whole frozen mackerels. We need to get some clams. Man, they got everything here. I love it. So if you're ever in Maine, you know the number one spot is Saco. Made in Taco. What's up, buddy? Good. You don't mind me filming for my YouTube channel? I don't care. Awesome, man. What's your name, bro? Trevor, look at this place, it's awesome. We're from Miami. Look at that, Dante, that's a cod. Look at that Mako jaw, this, this is a bait and tackle store. We we hit the spot, Dante. All right, guys, if you're ever in Maine, come to Saco Bait and Tackle, okay? All right, so we were gonna go with J-Hook, but my man says- use circle hooks in Maine for striper Circle fishing. hooks in Maine. Any kind of bait, yeah. All right, so we're gonna go with these. Tamagotchus. Six oughts, seven oughts are pretty good too for chunking. All right, excellent. Some six o and seven o circle hooks. Thank you, buddy. These big rods here for bluefins. Yeah. Look at these rods for tuners. Oh yeah, look they have the bluefin tuna on them, Dante. Oh, what is this over here? Blood worms. Cool. Blood worms. Ah. <laughs> what am I about? All right, so we're going with blood worms, one pound of Stimson clams. Dante, grab some mackerels. How many? We're gonna grab some some main mackerels. Grab three packs. One. One. Let me go, guys. Two. Three. Three packs of mackerels, and look at this. Open this up. Look. It wouldn't be sharking with seaweed without the seaweed. <laughs> We're moving to Maine. Right, this is the room we'll be staying at in Maine, the Cliff House. And let me just show you the views of this room. Probably the most beautiful place I've ever stayed in my entire life. Get ready guys, this is breathtaking. Look at this. Look at our views. I'm sleeping with the doors open, overlooking these cliffs. That's a charter boat. If you can see there, fishing the areas. I'm gonna be fishing for stripers. They actually have tunas come right up to these rocks. Little mackerels. Look at the views. Insane. I, I could do a whole episode just on the beauty of this place and with no fish. Good morning, guys. It's our first day to go try to do some fishing. I have two rods set up over here, so one with 20 pound test braid and one with 30 pound test braid. We brought the reels in our book bag. If you guys ever travel to different countries, different states and you want to fish, it's always easy to bring those reels in the book bag and buy a couple rods that you're okay with parting, parting ways when you leave your trip. You know, Give it to a friend, family member, and that's what we did. We're headed now to go try to catch some macros, some fresh squids, and then we're going to try to catch some stripers. Follow us out there. Thank you. 
circle hook, mackerel chunk. Flat line, it's another chunk. Right there. Now we wait. He's got a tennis ball looking float, floating his out. I'm, I'm still flatlining. So they don't like hitting too much on the bottom? No, they do. They work great. Here you got to really keep an eye out on where you're standing. If I were to step right there, I could slide in, hit my head, bang up my back, and get hurt pretty badly. So we hook a big fish, we could slide them up these rocks right here. Hopefully not get popped off. Got him. Jeff! We're on, baby. We are on. Big old striper. Yeah! Big old striper. I got him. You gotta get him away from those rocks. I'm on. Jeff, I'm on. Yeah, baby. Yeah. What I do, I just slide them over these rocks. What you uh, have on, bait? A, a flatline chunk. Nice. Yeah, I'm still testing lures, just banding around, seeing where they're at. I guess you found them. This is a keeper, too. How do I do? get them up? Slide them over the rock? Yeah, work with the waves. You're going to have to push them up into one of these, one of these areas and ride Can them. Can you record the this? Ride them up on the next wave. I'll get them when he comes close. <laughs> 1985 eight, eight, eight. Eight. Got it. And there he camera. is. There he is. You want video of the whole thing? Video. Uh, Here he comes. Oh, wait, wait, wait right. there and wait till the wait till the wave crashes him up. You ain't lying, man. There was waves. He, he he's actually in the water. The corner, we could have slid him right up. See that right there would have been enough to slide him up. He's there. actually he's actually in water right now. So I he's know, up, I can right. see the pool. Alright guys, our first striper! Dude, I told you this was the spot. Awesome, buddy. Thanks. Uh, okay, there you go. Get him up. Yep, yep. Nice. Now. Oh, yeah. Big old striper. 26. Give me main fishy. Woo! Let me see. Let me hold him. Hold him. And I got to get my forceps because he's buried. He took that. He's not deep. I'll cut the line. Left. Here, let go, let go. No, no, no. I'll get, I got forceps right here. All right. Oh, he's cold. Striper! Targeted species. This guy is 26. 26. You called it. All right, that means he has to go back. Beautiful striper. Patrick, following you. Right to your right. There's the pools deep right to your right. Right on, baby! Main fishing with seaweed! Little mackerel. Nice chunk. Right on top. Boom. Let's go cast her out. Right, I put a live bait out. There we go. Come on, I felt the bite. Woo! We're on again, a little guy. You guys have to realize this is literally me fishing here 10 minutes and this place is on fire. I am in love. I'm in love with the resort. I'm in love with striped bass. I love Maine. This is a ball. This is an obstacle. Whoa, look how high I am. Not good for a guy for scared of heights. I'll tell you that. All right. Here we go, he's coming up the wave. Whoa. All right, there he is. Coming down. Rode him up the wave. He's in the corner. Now I gotta get down. Ugh. 
Here he comes. I got it. I'll flip him. Oh, all right. Woo! Another striped bass. Oh. 16, 18 inches. They're cold. Holy, nice hook though. Got it right in the corner. Give a case of the long arms. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right, here he goes. Nice. All right, we're going to let this guy go. Hook is out. Wait for a wave. Deeper down there, you don't have to pee. Right there you go. Bye, buddy. Woo! Jeff, my man. Oh, yeah, you got one. Slow, 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 slow. Real slow. Tip up. Just tip up. Yeah. Tip up. Real. All right, Brisa. Oh, nice one. Let me get it off that CB real. Oh my God, she has like 20. Let's go, real Bree. Real. Oh, hold on, you may be stuck. Oh no. Damn, oh, there it goes. Bree. Good job, a stringer of Pollux. Look at that, Lee. Bree, give me five. They throw me a Pollock for bait, buddy. All right, fresh Pollock. We're gonna do it just like, look, he looks like a cod. We're gonna do it just like back home. Whoa, Bumbo. We're gonna do it just like back home. Fresh bait, guys. Ugh. We're going fresh bait here. Pollock head. All right. Look at that, tell me that doesn't look fresh. Now I'm feeling like I'm getting back into my element over here, baby. Here we go. Now I'm in my element. No more crusty, rotten mackerel. It's time to use some fresh pollock, baby. Oh, that looks good for a striper. Look, you see that rock right there? Yeah. That one, a little bit off to the left. Cast it there into the black. Oh, it came. You're good. You know what you're doing. Perfect. Yes. Boom. Reel it in a little bit. Law. Real, 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 real. All right, drop it right there. Leave it right there. I like it. That's where they were trying to run when I hooked mine. Whoa. Nice cast, buddy. Give five. Woo. Now we wait. Real, real, real fast. Real, real, real. Real tip up. Real. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Tip straight up, buddy. He's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. Yeah! Here, come this way. You're good, come over here. You're good, go over there, I'll pass you the rod. Go where mommy is. You see mommy? Go up to mommy. I got you, go up to mommy. Go up to mommy. Keep going, keep going. I got you, I got you. Exactly. Now you can slide him right into this ramp and, and, and he'll keep going up, up there. Go to, go to him. And then your dad can go down and land him for you while you pull him up. All right, there you, you go, buddy. The, you take the rod. Your You're on top of the world. All right, we got a bite. Dante Kane. Good luck. Show me what you got, buddy. Come on, bother. From the way that the reel was screaming, we could all tell this is the biggest striper of the day. Dante gets them all the way up, but he tangles them into these rocks. So I have to grab the rod and go back, backtrack and pull them out of the rocks and flip them over the, the cliff. Slippery. Go this way. Go my way. Four millimeters, Dante. Beauty. Yeah, it'll taste better. All right. I put them in the tidal pool, Dante. All right. These are the perks of fishing here. You gotta cut them first. No, I'm gonna leave them alive. Here. I want to see if he lives in there. Drop him in, Dante. Woo! Put it. Let me see. 
Yeah, put them in the deep end, Dante. Push them in. That's our pet buddy dinner. Good job, bud. Hey, girls. We got Whoa. one. Yeah, he's alive, Dante. Look, we got a pet. We got a pet, Striper. Yeah. Woo, look at the size of him. He's a keeper. All right, let's get another one. Get oh, one. yeah. Is he a big one, Jeff? I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, Jeff. Here, here, no, here, I'll hold the rod. Oh yeah, look at that one, guys. Woo! Hold him up, Jeff, let me see. Yes, sir. Beauty. All right, let's get him up. This guy on the tape. Uh, Dante, just leave him right there. Lay him, lay him down. All right, guys. Got to be 28 inches. And this one is, let me see. Yeah, 27 and a half. It's close. I'm going to put him back. Right, we'll get yeah, another one. Short. We got to let him go, we'll guys. We'll get another one. All right. Beautiful fish, Jeff. Nice fish, buddy. This is how you release it off the cliffs. Catch and release. Whoa, there he goes. Cliff House Resort here. Hooked our dad up with some ice. And now we're heading out to Uncle Gil's house to um, record the catch, clean, and cook portion. All right, this is our edible flower section and Chef is plucking some because I'm gonna, there's a few little tricks I didn't teach him back home in Miami. So I'm gonna cook the food he's gonna garnish tomorrow at his house. So Chef is just getting us some edible flowers. I'm just joking guys, this guy's gonna throw down. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna show up with the seafood and just sit back and watch him and record him. Maine baby, this is not my, guys, what is the temperature? Everybody, what are they wearing? What month are we in? We're in mid-June and we're all in jackets and sweaters. Hey, Miami, eat your hearts out, Miami. How's that 120 degree weather back home, guys? We've made it to Bitterford. You know the catch, clean, and cook is in that bucket with my with my with my niece, Bella. Hey! We're in Bitterford. Look at these trees. Look at these wooden houses. We're far from Miami. And we're gonna do a catch, clean. Cook. So, so we are far. How many miles away is this from Miami? Thousands of miles away. However, we feel like home because we're family. Go ahead, show us. What did you do? What? Oh! Yes, yeah, Sap Robbie! First in Ocean, baby. Sabi! Thank you. You're the best. Oh, you're the best. Thanks, Bella. You'll see. That's it. beautiful. Oh, you made that for me. Oh, yes. Can I make you some fish now? You eat fish? You want some frog legs? Yeah, yeah she's like, yeah, whatever. Wait a minute. Dear Uncle Shannon, I'm very happy of how this painting turned out. I am too. I really hope you love it. I have not seen the movie yet, but I've heard it is very good. Congratulations on making a movie and expanding your career. I miss you and the family and hope to see you soon. Love, Bella. You're the best, Bella! Bella hold on, hold on. Bella, 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 Bella. Oh, Bella, Bella, Bella. Oh, thank you. Bella, Bella, Bella. Oh, can we see the banana bread she made me? When you're a fisherman and your best friend is a chef, all you gotta do is deliver the package. I'm nervous, man. I know a lot of chefs that don't know how to fillet fish. Do you know how to? Oh, yeah. oh ho, ho, ho. there's that, th there's that tiller, $50 a plate, baby. Fresh main cot, baby. Yes. Chef, do your thing. I'm just going to film. I'm not even going to talk. Are we doing skin on? Yeah, we can That's a lot of scales. I could whack him and we could just do the skin on little guys. You want to do that? And I'll whack him with the... The pollock. 
Yeah. The pollock, you don't want to do your skin on. Okay, so this the skin on? Yeah. So this all right. Is. All right, chef. All right, baby. Get all these kids dirty. All right, so typically back home, guys, you've never seen me scale a big fish, and that's my fault because I'm not a master chef like Chef Gil Plaster. But break down why you scaled this fish and what your plans are with it. Um, scale the fish so that the skin is edible. Uh, without, with the scales on, you can't. No, uh, yeah, but so uh, you're definitely going to utilize that skin oh, yeah. and make it crispy? Oh, yeah, crispiness for sure. For All sure. right. And most Florida fish, you have like a, the skin is a little bit thinner, so it cooks up fast and you don't necessarily get the entire skin super crispy this will turn like chicharron crispy oh we're looking forward to it so what is your plan with this fish all i know uh, how to do is fish half half of the side half of the side uh -huh. pricked, half the side um we're gonna keep skin on and we're gonna do pan seared pan seared okay with a lemon dill butter sauce oh <laughs> And then the other side we'll do we'll just do, do a traditional fish fry with the other side so we'll cut it into chunks host of your youtube channel shark and we see we got caught grabbing a beer out of the freezer while chef already started but no we didn't miss anything he made his initial cut oh you know you're gonna get judged you know i'm gonna fuck oops no bad words i'm gonna he's a chef let's see if he's a fisherman oh okay all right let me just be quiet and let him work this man is a chef the nicest, the nicest God's country resort in Maine. He is the chef. You walk around with this guy and you just get free drinks, good treatment, access to striped bass. Ooh, let him work, let him work. Let the man, oh, right down the backbone, baby. Do you fillet a lot of whole fish at work? Excuse the background. Guys, can you guys uh, not be so uh, crazy in the back? <laughs> so what is this similar so, to? So striped bass, it's in the bass family. So, you know, it's similar to Corvina. I heard, I heard it's similar to snapper. Um, Would you say different? Yeah, it eats a little bit different. They have a snapper varietal up here, so they might Perfect be compar like. comparing it to that. We're in 60 degree weather, just chilling. Mm. What a chilly willy billy, hilly silly dilly. <laughs> Hello, 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 the shit. I, I love that man. I love that girl. Cut it off of the root. It's open right there. You want to push it out? Yeah. All right, let's see what's in there, guys. Oh, juicy. Ew, the stomach. Cut, just cut it off. Like, sever the whole side. There it is, right there. It'll come right out. Oh, here it is. oh what is it, guys? In Maine, what like are they eating? Yeah. Oh, what is that? That looks like a needlefish. What kind of fish is that, dude? That's insane. That looks like a ballyhoo. That looks crazy. Look at the beak. It, it's some type of fish with a beak. I don't know. Ballyhoo? We'll Google it, see what's in Maine with a beak. All right, put that in the back, Dante. What? You were wondering about my fillet skills. Never doubted you, chef. <laughs> All right, so we're so gonna these do are, these are these are three pieces with skin on that we're gonna do with a okay. lemon caper dill sauce or a, or sorry a lemon dill butter sauce. And what are we and doing then, that one? And then this, I just took the skin off, so these deep I'm fried? gonna cut in chunks and we're gonna deep fry these. Yes, deep fried, never go wrong. Yeah. Yes, deep fried. Look at that. When a kid yeah. hears deep fried. Yeah. All right, chef, where's the fresh dill, buddy? Are we gonna use this dill in our yeah. sauce? So that's that's enough. Dill. That's all we need, baby. That's it. Oh, for our sauce. So, red hot dogs. Very red much hot dogs. A main thing. So what? We're gonna have them also for dinner, so you can. Let's try do it. Their main delicacy. A main delicacy. Red hot dogs. We're yeah. doing it. We're doing it. Done. Done and done. Main. Oh, it's cold, and we're out here with the deep fryer. Hey, chef, what is this batter? That's a that's a Louisiana style batter. So you have, um, I see the buttermilk. So we got pepper, buttermilk. There's some buttermilk. There's some uh, Those are chili done. powder. There's some paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of cornmeal. Man, I'm going to get a little deep fryer like this. This is, this is legit. Oh, ho, ho, look at this, guys. Look at this deep fried striped bass, guys. From Miami to Maine, baby. Woo! I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I love it.
the climate change. My babies are here. My family's here. It's Father's Day. <sighs> Hope you guys like this episode. Another classic of Maine is red hot dogs. Red hot dogs, they snap. Supposedly they have a really good snap, and they did. Real of them, they snap. Let's chase these dogs. Delicious. Better than any hot dog I've ever had. Main hot dogs. All right, so my brother, Chef Gilplaster, made the striped bass that we caught right behind our resort at the Cliff House. We're gonna try it, me and you, split a piece. We don't need tartar sauce, we don't need lime. We're going straight up. Let's see if it looks like grouper. Who shut the lights on? Mmm, looks good, here. Try it, I'll try it. a bigger piece. Delicious. Yeah. Hey, everybody, collectively. Yeah. It tastes just like grouper and snapper. Al dente, really good, delicious. Dun, da, dun, dun, dun. seed by the chef from Maine, you plaster. All right, chef, what do we got going on over here? We're gonna add a little butter. To but our, what are you to cooking? Right here, a little, little fried bass, skin on. Skin on striped bass. Yeah, we're gonna add a little butter to the pan. Give it some flavor. Oh, yes. That looks good. Yum. What do you got going on? Oh, capers? Some capers in there. All right, chef. What about some dill? Yeah, bro. You're gonna go fresh dill from the gut? Not from the garden. Where is this from? Fresh dill from the garden. The garden. Oh, this is, this is a, a world-renowned chef that they called from our hometown, guys, back in Miami. I know you guys are checking out these exotic fish that you've never tried, pollock and striped bass. This guy is from our hometown. Who's your favorite team, chef? The King, maybe all day. Okay. <laughs> hey, in Maine, baby. Miami reigns supreme, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Striped sea bass, caper dill butter. Oh, 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 is it going on top? Put some sauce. Oh, I love that. Yes, yes. So, we got it done. We caught our striped bass in Maine, thanks to my boy Chef Plaster and the Plaster family for welcoming them, wel welcoming us into their home. He made it pants. Tell me how you made it. Pan seared, little pan seared with some uh, dill caper lemon sauce. This is oh. going to be delicious. Delicious. Crispy and I'm skin. the lucky guy who gets to taste it. Oh, it's yeah. my YouTube channel. Oh, Feed me, yeah. chef. Oh, yeah. Let's get that oh, crispy Oh, it's crispy. Skin. It's crispy. Yes. <laughs> One of one of the best fish dishes I've ever had. All right, guys, we came to Maine, we conquered. I love you, brother, thanks for having us. Chef Plaster, this concludes another episode of Shark and Wit Seaweed! Shark and Wit.